Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, anything you want. Um, you know how in the last year there were five Colts born and no Phillies? Yeah, of course I know. Well, I think it may be time to get rid of them. Well, we all know you'll have to do it eventually, but why now? Uh, I had a dream last night. Oh boy, what kind of dream? Uh, there were five horses. Four of them were doing everything they could to destroy me. Like kicking me, drowning me, it was awful. But what about the other horse? The other horse was helping me. I think it's a sign that I need to do some kind of decision to decide to keep one horse and get rid of the other four. How are you going to decide that? I don't know. <laughs> Come quickly. What? Uh, one of the foals. They've been born. What? Already? I thought they weren't due until spring. Well, I don't know. Just come see. Is it a filly? I don't know, but she was awfully difficult. It's a girl. We've finally been blessed. It's good. How are you mares doing? Absolutely fine, but two of your mares are still expect expecting fools, you know. You should have constant watch on us. All right, from now on, I will. Guys, I called this meeting because there are a couple things we need to address. Like, yeah, like the fact that you are going to get old one day and one of us is going to need to replace you. Yeah, that's an obvious one, but um, the mares have also requested that... One of you guys always keep watching them in case one of the other foals is born. As you know, one of the foals was born this morning, and none of us were even aware. It was quite difficult for the mares. Yeah, right. They're just mares. All they do is keep our herds running strong. Yeah, well, the other thing I want to talk to you about is, like you said, uh, as you know, every there comes a time in every stallion's herd life when he must get rid of some yearlings that are males. I know what this is about. You're going to be kicking us out, aren't you? Yeah, so you can have the herd all to yourself. It's true. It is my herd. You were born into it by luck. Now, I'm asking each of you to set up a challenge. A challenge B. Should you win, you will stay and become the leader when I pass away. All of those of you who lose will be kicked out. Uh, what if none of us lose I'll make the challenge then make the challenges happen again um question what happens if none of us can beat you then whoever did the best shot what is this about Shasta the challenge I have one for you all right what is it whichever one of us jumps either the neatest or whichever one of us can jump to that other cliff quite the distance. Are you sure you can handle it? I'm ready. Fine then, you go first. <clears throat> Help! <sighs> That's impossible. You'll never make it. Hmm. There you go. I just did. Huh? It's so unfair. Not really. So, you couldn't beat the old man. Huh, shut up. Well, he isn't really as old as you guys think, but I bet he'll never be able to beat me in my speed race. Well, you are the fastest of us, but Shasta's the best jumper, and he got beaten. He won't beat me. So, what are you two boys here for me for? Well, Taro is challenging you to a race, and I'm just keeping the lines and watching who wins. Yes, first one around that tree and back to the line here wins. Let's line up. All right, I accept your challenge. On your mark, get set, go! You 
beat me. Don't underestimate my running skills. I may be heavier than you, but I'm quick on my feet. <sighs> wow, it's a good thing I was watching. I can't believe I got to see the birth of your second son. Well, except that... Except that my other son was a lot more difficult. Yeah, I hope he's not too difficult because I have to challenge him this afternoon. What's he challenging you to? Strength. Oh, you're strong. It should be a cinch after the other two. I hope so. Okay, so you want us to each push one of these two big boulders and whoever shifts theirs first wins? Yep, it's easy. I practice all the time. Huh, oh, okay. Uh, I'll say go then. On your mark, get set, go! <clears throat> <sighs> what, uh, uh, that was way faster than my fastest time. Uh, you time yourself? Uh, uh, sometimes. Well, let's just say just having brute strength doesn't even be having good technique. Uh, that means I can't be leader. Well, I have to say, you're a lot more decent than the other two yearlings I've already challenged. <laughs> okay, so, one lap around my entire territory. Yep. And first one back wins. Yep, easy as pie. All right. How long will this take, do you think? A couple hours. Why? Uh, one of the mirrors might fall tonight, that's all. The last one? Well, you've already had one, one Colt and one Philly. Yeah, I still hope for another Philly. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. Why is this so more tiring than it normally is? <laughs> so it was worth me racing back here. Yes, she is a filly. <laughs> so, um, you were wondering about the challenges? Yeah, who's ahead so far? I'd have to say, Rambar, you know, my lead mare's son. Really? He impressed you with strength? I thought you'd need wisdom. Well, I do, but he has wisdom. You see, he was nice, and he wasn't all, you know, losery, sad when he lost. And he didn't try to impress me so much. He only did his best. Well, then I guess the next, the, the next yearling is going to have to beat you to impress you. You're probably right. So, if you ask this question, and I answer incorrectly, you can be my apprentice. Thank you, I appreciate you seeing it my way. Now, for the question. Fire away. What is the most dangerous predator to a horse? Well, that's an easy one. A human. No, you got it wrong. The own mind. Your mind is the most dangerous weapon you possess. Honestly, that's a very good answer. Thank you. Why are you trying to be nice to me? You know I'm just going to take over your position. Yes, but uh, not for a long time. Oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> what did you say? Nothing. Oh, we should get back to camp. Uh, you're right. So, here's how it's gonna work. I got the leadership today, so as soon as I become leader officially, well, like his apprentice, I'm gonna kill him. And then you guys roll right back in. Isn't that a little drastic? Not at all. Don't you want to be back in the herd? You know he's going to kick you out. Well, yeah. it's a very good plan, by the way, and it succeeded. <laughs> no, it hasn't. I heard every word you said. Uh, uh, hi, um, we were just talking about... Don't deny what you were talking about. You're trying to plot to kill me and take over. You don't want the all the responsibility of being a leader. You just want fools, 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 mares, mares, mares. It's true, if I had a herd, there would be fools at the wazoo, and we wouldn't have the problem of too many cults. You know what? You're out. Tonight. What? You can't kick me out already. I'm your apprentice. No? Rondar is. 